the guys in the band, a lot of them are younger than me, but they play great, you know, they're excellent players and they're contemporary and they push me just naturally. Kim Perling is back home this week, cooking up a musical storm with the University of Nevada Big Band. Last year, Kim left Australia to further his career, but not at the traditional homes of jazz like New Orleans or New York, but Las Vegas, where he's under the influence of Rocky Winslow, who's performed with greats like Tony Bennett and Natalie Cole. You would be surprised. I mean, if, if you went to Las Vegas, you know, like in the 1960s to the 70s, I mean, you walk down the, the strip or whatever, it's very much an entertainment town. You know, the, I mean, in addition to the gambling and the throwing the dice and and the gangsters shooting each other and everything else, Count Basie's playing there, Frank Sinatra's playing there, the Rat Pack, all that stuff is going on. The legacy is a rich vein of entertainment that Kim has tapped into. Rocky brings up a good point because I go there and I see guys work ten times harder than I do on a gig, you know, and they do it three times a night to entertain the audience, you know, and cool, and it is a job, but. You, what I'm finding is now thinking about it differently and saying I'm going to work and this is what I need to do at work. For Kim, the move to the United States is another chapter in a remarkable life story. He was orphaned during the Vietnam War and after months in institutions was adopted by Adelaide couple David and Judith Perling. I got this letter and we came home and opened the letter and there was this photo and we had to respond about whether we wanted to get this uh, little guy to see we were straight back. Yeah, <laughs> it, it just, just clicked. And while growing up, it became clear he was musically gifted. When he was about three, a, a um, friend had said, uh, that child sings with perfect pitch. And well, we hadn't picked that, but the friend had. So obviously there was uh, a hidden talent there. The tour of Australia was Kim's idea a chance for him to bring his music back home. But even at home, there's no such thing as a free parliamentary reception. We'll ask him to play the dear old Parliament House piano. <laughs> you guys should be very proud. I mean, uh, of him. he's a very, very much a world-class piano. It's not coming out of the Oscar Peterson vein as I see it, but I hear him doing much more progressive things in this point. Very natural, gifted player. You know, potential is unlimited, it's just whatever he wants to do with it. After completing his masters, Kim wants to move to New York, where he'll just see what happens. In the spirit of jazz, he's free-forming a career. Yeah, after I finish studying, I'm eligible to stay in the <laughs> States for another year. And in that time, I'll work out what I'm going to do. I'm just, I'm just going to ride the wave at the moment and see where it leads me. Yeah. 